So I have a Bose Series 2 sound dock uh, which has the Apple 30 pin dock connector on it um, and I've recently purchased an iPhone 5S uh, which is excellent um, and has Apple's new uh, lightning connector the same as the iPhone 5 uh, had on there but the obvious problem being that uh, I can't can no longer connect my phone to the dock so I was searching around the internet for um, solutions to this didn't come across much so I thought I'd post uh, what I found out by myself but the obvious solution that Apple uh, provide is to uh, give you one of these or sell you for £25 one of these uh, lightning to 30 pin adapters um, which are okay it's a bit bigger than I would have thought they'd needed to be but apparently that's the electronics in there to convert uh, the audio from digital to analog but it slots onto the dock connector pretty well uh, there and then the iPhone sits on the top the problem being it's very flimsy uh, and I don't really like the look uh, of the of the dock with that case or with that uh, adapter in place so I was searching around for other solutions uh, and I came across this adapter here. Uh, it's an adapter made by Rook Audio for their uh, iPod systems and it's an adapter that um, fits Apple's universal dock and so it has the correct catches um, in order to connect in. So I thought I'd try that with uh, a Bose sound dock and because they've this is also a universal dock. If I just prise off uh, the uh, adapter in there and then take the Rook one, feet in first and then a little bit of pressure at the back. And uh, It's pretty firm fit, that snaps into place. Um, you can see that it's not a perfect fit uh, in that the Obviously the catches are in a slightly different position, so the, uh, the, there's a slight dip there, but it looks pretty good overall. And if uh, once that's in place, you then slide Apple's 30 pin dock connector uh, or lightning adapter into place, give it a little push, that connects on there, and then you have the dock for the phone, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, that's quite professional and the phone is, is very sturdy on the back there as it rests against that bar at the back. Um, now the only disappointing thing which is not a failing of this uh, support in any way but it's a failing of Apple's uh, 30 pin adapter is if you use a case um, then the case prevents uh, the lightning adapter from poking through enough to make the connection uh, on, into the phone. Uh, that goes for pretty much any case that covers the bottom uh, of the of the phone, so unless you've got your, a case which is, keeps this area clear, um, then you're going to run into this issue. I'll just show you if I snap this uh, into place. But unfortunately, a phone, although it slots on there, doesn't quite make contact. You can see that's not charging, um, and that's because of this fairly significant gap. Uh, in the case. So unless you've got a flat case it's not going to work but uh, but otherwise this is a pretty neat solution um, and, uh, and and looks quite professional when fitted. That was about £8 for the Rook adapter and about £25 for the uh, Apple adapter.